With U.S. college graduation ceremonies set to be held over the next couple of weeks, everyone's attention has been turned to Rutgers University. See, after the school announced that the commencement speaker would be President George W. Bush's former National Security Advisor and former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, a vocal and fierce opposition movement among students and faculty was launched against her selection. Citing her support for CIA torture and manipulating evidence leading to the Iraq war, the school faculty council passed a resolution calling on the school to rescind the invitation. Rutgers administration didn't give in to the faculty's demands, but over the weekend, Rice announced that she would be bowing out of the commencement ceremony due to the controversy that her nomination had generated. And now, the Rutgers University faculty is under attack by both left and right establishment figures for a perceived crackdown on freedom of speech. So to respond to these allegations, I was joined earlier by Rutgers University professor Deepa Kumar. I started by asking her how Rice was selected to speak in the first place. In violation, basically, of the standard procedures that we use here at Rutgers University to choose our commencement speaker, which involves the participation of faculty, involves the participation of students, what actually happened is that uh, President Barchi formed a committee of about six people, including himself, and this decision was made by them. And in fact, fully eight months before this was made public, uh, we saw from Oprah requests regarding various emails that went from President Barchi's office to Dr. Condoleezza Rice's office that the invitation had been sent and even travel arrangements had been made. So with absolutely no involvement on the part of students and faculty, this decision was made and we objected to that. We think that the university is a democracy and we think that all of us should have a say in who gets to uh, speak at commencement. Right. It was a decision originally uh, you felt was the, the faculty's decision to make. But I wanted to play you a clip uh, from Fox News contributor Carl Rove, of all people, um, and what he had to say about the Rutgers faculty protests against Rice speaking at the, commencement, at the commencement. Sorry, let's take a listen to that real quick. This shows how ignorant the faculty of Rutgers is. This, this old canard that the administration, the Bush administration, deliberately misled the American people about weapons of mass destruction has been the subject of special investigative committees, special commissions, and no evidence has been found of that. This shows how politically uh, motivated this is and how ignorant the faculty senate of Rutgers is. And major universities are, have faculties that are dominated by the far left, which is intolerant of free speech, except what? if it's their free speech. Now, Deepa, Carl Rove there, he's, he's talking about you specifically and your, and your colleagues. What's your response to his claims that investigative, investigative panels have exonerated Bush's administration from its actions in Iraq and that this move was a crackdown on free speech by Rutgers faculty? Condoleezza Rice in particular has made public statements saying that uh, Hussein was going to make a nuclear bomb and again none of this material has actually been found in the case of Iraq. And so uh, the facts speak for themselves. And, you know, I think uh, the Bush administration, as well as Karl Rove, has discredited themselves uh, in the eyes of uh, international opinion. Now, on the question of free speech, um, this is a commencement address that Condoleezza Rice was invited to give. This was not any old speech that she was asked to come and give at our university. And when you invite a speaker to be a commencement speaker, to give this person an honorary degree of law, what you're doing is you're honoring that person. What you're saying is that our values are in, you know, in agree with the values of uh, Condoleezza Rice. And we, we don't agree with that. We don't believe that not only uh, somebody who as national security advisor and later as secretary of state, who not only lied about the Iraq war, but also condoned torture right from 2002 onwards, we don't believe that lies and torture are consistent with our values here at Rutgers. And so the, I want to emphasize that a commencement speech is very different than a talk given at a university campus. Uh, and we've said right from the beginning, if she wanted to come and give a talk, we would be there at the meeting, we would challenge her, and uh, we would take it uh, from there. Now, Deepa, I, I'm, I agree with you on, on what you said about the Bush administration discrediting themselves, so it really is no surprise that Karl Rove, former Bush White House uh, official, uh, would come out 
kind of criticizing uh, Rutgers faculty. But what's interesting to me is that even members of the establishment left today are also criticizing the opposition to Rice uh, by, by, the, by the faculty. Obama's former speechwriter, John Favreau, even tweeted in response to John Boehner's chief of staff saying that he agreed that the incident was an embarrassment to Rutgers. Why do you think there's been criticism of the faculty's actions from both, you know, former Bush White House people and even people on the left today in the, in the current establishment? Well, let's get um, one thing clear, and that is that the policies that were begun by the Bush administration, particularly, uh, you know, in terms of building up the surveillance state and strengthening the various institutions of the security uh, establishment that spies on uh, Americans and all the rest of it, these policies have been continued and strengthened, actually, uh, under the Obama era. So when we voice protest against one of the architects of this uh, new uh, regime uh, in the United States, naturally, people uh, who are in the Obama Obama administration, who have continued uh, various policies that the Bush era started, are going to, you know, get defensive about it because the, we are taking a stand on principle. This is not a partisan issue, Democrats versus Republicans. We are against torture. We are against people telling lies to go off and invade other countries, leading to the deaths of hundreds of thousands of Iraqis, not to mention thousands of uh, American soldiers. On principle, whatever administration conducts those kinds of policies, we are opposed to, and we don't think that those values square with the values that we have here at Rutgers. Right, and, and I understand, and I understand that that's an issue of consistency for you, and that that's not something that should be partisan, but would you have the same opposition to having other political figures, such as Hillary Clinton, a former Secretary of State, speaking at a commencement ceremony? Absolutely. Um, I think that any commencement speaker has got to be selected through a wide and open process of discussion and debate. That is not what has happened here. And in the future, should Hillary Clinton be invited, I would like to similarly see this process be played out where all of us get to have our say and ultimately through this process of open dialogue, debate and the exercise of free speech, a decision be made. Thank you so much, Deepak Kumar, Rutgers University professor. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you for having me.